Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In this series of videos, we're looking at the effects inside the Boss Katana. Now, if you haven't seen any of the other videos, go and have a look at those as well. But today, we're gonna to be concentrating on the Tiwa. If you like what we do, it would really help us if you liked and subscribed. And don't forget to click on that little bell button down there, and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats. Now, the Tiwa is basically an auto wah. So it's a wah wah pedal that you don't have to use a pedal for. So it uses a threshold when you're playing. So depending on how hard you pick, depends on when the wah kicks in. So if I leave the controls where they are at the moment and I play some light notes, the harder I pick, the more the wah opens up. So let's go through some of the controls. Now the first control is the filter. So we've either got the choice of band pass filter or low pass filter. So a low pass filter is gonna let the low frequencies through so it's not gonna be as pronounced. <laughs> Right, let's bring in the bandpass filter. So the bandpass filter's got more of a peak to the sound. Right, the next control is the polar control. So this determines whether the wah, when you get through the threshold, is going down or up. So I'm on up at the moment, but let's try down. So it's like if the wah pedal is at its top position and when you play a note, it's flipping backwards. So we're gonna leave it on up as it's more pronounced. The next thing is sensitivity. Now sensitivity is all dependent on how hard you're playing. So if I bring sensitivity back to naught, it doesn't matter how hard I play, the wah's not gonna kick in. So you wanna set the sensitivity so you've got some dynamics in your playing. So you can play softly and not open the wah, and then play hard and then open the wah. So for instance. And you can also use it for like rhythm stuff. So set your sensitivity, depending on your guitar, if you've got humbuckers, you can have slightly higher output. So I'd set my sensitivity for this Telecaster around about 35. Right, the next control is frequency. Now this is at what point that wah-wah is peaking. So for instance, if I take it up, well, if I take it back to naught, you can hear it's got more bass frequencies. So if I take it up to, I don't know, say 70, we've got more high frequencies in there. So I keep that around about 50%. So the next setting is peak. Now that's setting on how sharp the peak of the frequency is. So for instance, if I keep it back at naught, it's very wah-like, but if I take it up to 100, it gets almost a bit unnatural. So I would keep that around about 20. So the next thing is effects level. Now, if I bring back the direct mix and I take back the effects level, as all of these effects are in series, this affects the total volume of the guitar. So we get no volume. Right, let's bring that back. Now, the thing about the effect level is you wanna make sure it's, unless you wanna boost the signal, you wanna make sure it's roughly the same as when the effect is switched off. So let's turn the effect off. Let's bring it in. So I've overdone it a bit. Let's just bring it back to about 70. Now the next control is direct mix. Now, unlike a lot of the other effects in the Boss Katana, this can be quite useful as to bring in some direct mix makes the wah sound more natural. So let's bring it up to about 45. <laughs> So 
So I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I hope you guys got something out of that. If you haven't liked and subscribed already, please like and subscribe and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats. So I'm Paul from the Studio Rats and I'll see you next time. Cheers.